Hi, Memory Gurus. Coach Kelsey here. I'm getting so excited for the holiday season. I absolutely love getting together with my family for Thanksgiving. I have a really big extended family, so it's kind of like a party whenever we get all together. Um, but what I've noticed over the years is that with a big family comes lots of unnecessary plates and fixings for Thanksgiving meals. And I know a lot of our current uh, Memory Guru clients are facing the same challenges. So I have a few tips and tricks for you uh, coming this holiday season to make sure that your Thanksgiving is the most brain healthy Thanksgiving that it can possibly be. So to start first off, I would recommend first and foremost, before you're sitting down for your nice meal, carve out some time pun intended, in the morning uh, for a nice pre-meal exercise session. Maybe it's walking the dog. You know, maybe you have a nice exercise class that you want to take part in. Um, who knows? Maybe it's just everybody gets together and does some yoga in the living room, something to move the body. The goal here is to get started on jumpstarting your metabolism, uh, getting some of those stress-relieving endorphins running, and then also just making some room for a big meal that you're about to enjoy. Uh, this is one of the most foolproof ways to make sure that we're not overindulging and causing um, some upset in our stomach going forward for the rest of your evening. Second tip here is to try using smaller dinner plates. Um, understanding that going for seconds is not the worst thing in the world, right? But if we're having this large plate and we're overfilling it with all of these yummy, good, delicious once a year treats, um, we're oftentimes going to lick our plates clean whether we're hungry or not. So just having little scoops of things here and there on a smaller plate and realizing you can go back for seconds at any point, oftentimes this is a great way to prevent overeating. My third tip for you, make sure there are some healthy fats in your meal. So again, I'm gonna reiterate, this is a once a year line of food for the most part. You know, you've got lots of carbs here, delicious carbs. We've got stuffing, potatoes, rolls. You've probably got some green bean casserole, I would hope. Um, but with all of these carbs, you know, we've got our protein, we've got our turkey, some families have ham as well, um, but there's oftentimes not a lot of fat on the plates, aside from the pad of butter that you're likely putting on your roll. So adding in some sneaky healthy fats into your meal, things like avocado, you know, maybe you make a nice side salad with some avocado or some nuts and seeds and fresh um, olive oil, or you have a nice little side dish of some uh, festive holiday nuts and seeds or even just, you know, a nice olive plate of some pickled olives. Or if none of that seems appealing to you, if that's just extra work to add to an already busy day, go ahead and just make sure that you're taking your fish oil supplements. That's going to supply you with the best brain healthy fats that you could possibly give yourself. Second to last tip opt for crustless pies, or at the very least, stay away from double crusted pies. That top layer of crust, yes, it looks amazing. You can make these really fun designs on it. There's really not much purpose there though. It's unnecessary extra gluten. There's oftentimes a lot of fat in there, saturated fat, right, from the butter in the crust. Um, and let's be honest, the filling is the main star of the show anyways. I, I have a gluten-free aunt, so we always are making crustless pies for her. And over the past couple of years, I've asked them to make extra of the crustless pies because I find that I'm I'm here for the filling anyways so I might as well just get rid of the crust and you know add on a little dollop of that whipped cream or maybe you start trying out uh, they've got a really nice um, coconut whipped cream now that's just as delicious so there's options out there right we've just got to make sure that we're taking the time and energy to be proactive so we're not you know having our backs up against the wall when it comes time to having a delicious meal and maybe overindulging a little bit my last tip here for you is to take some good probiotics, drink lots and lots of water, and just continue to move, right? This holiday season, it's, I'd really like to see you guys putting the emphasis on instead of taking things away and feeling like you're depriving yourself of all of the fun holiday cheer that's to come, add things in. That's where you're gonna have your most success, right? Add in those good probiotics. 
add in that extra glass of water, add in that extra movement before and after your meal, add in some good healthy fats, right? So this is just a very foolproof way to make sure that your body and your brain stays happy and healthy, um, but that you're also enjoying and indulging in this holiday season as you should. So with that, I hope that you all have a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope you eat lots of yummy foods. Um, I hope you're moving lots and I hope that you're adding in some good brain healthy fats and maybe making some um, minor tweaks to your dessert options. If you try out that crustless pie or um, opt for pudding instead, right? There's lots of different ways that we can go about doing this. And if at any point, you know, you're finding yourself interested in making these changes, but you're just not sure where to start, you know that we're always here for you. So reach out to us, let us know your questions, um, and we'll be happy to help put together a little plan for you. All right, memory gurus, happy holidays, and we will chat with you soon.